Prashant Sharma and you are watching Medical Hub. Today we are going to discuss the Norma Occipitalis. What is Norma Occipitalis? It is the axial view of a skull when you observe it posteriorly. It appears convex from above, convex from lateral sides and flattened from below. Sutures can be observed. This is sagittal suture. This is limnoid suture. So sagittal suture, limnoid suture. This is parietomastoid suture. This is occipitomastoid suture. Now, this is mastoid process. You can also observe the styloid process. These are styloid process. These are parietal bones, this is occipital bone, this is temporal bone. This is the squamous part of temporal bone and this is the pectoral part of temporal bone. This is mastoid portion. Now we can observe the stylomastoid foramen here and mastoid foramen here. The stylomastoid foramen transmits the stylomastoid artery and the facial nerve. Basically, stylomastoid foramen indicates the end of facial canal. It represents the end of facial canal. Now, this is mastoid foramen just near to occipitopetrous suture mastoid foramen mastoid foramen transmits mastoid emissary veins to sigmoid sulcus and posterior meningeal arteries to dura metal. This is mastoid foramen. These structure, these protruded structures are basically occipital condyles. These are occipital condyles. We can observe a crest here. This crest is known as external occipital crest. We can observe two bony ridges coming out of this crest. This region, this is a protuberance in the external occipital crest. It is known as external occipital protuberance. The most prominent point of this external occipital protuberance is known as ineon. A little above this external occipital protuberance, there is another point which is known as occipital point. External occipital protuberance characterized by uh, or it indicates the junction of neck and head. In the lateral part of axon occipital protuberance, we can observe a curved bony ridge, this one. This is known as superior nuchal line. And this is another bony ridge, inferior nuchal line. Not in all individuals, but 
There is another nuchal line which can be observed. That is highest nuchal line. Axonal occipital protuberance, this region, it gives origin to the trapezius in its upper portion and ligamentum nuchae in the lower portion. These nuchal lines are also important for origin and insertion or attachments. For example, if this is external occipital crest and this one is highest nuchal line and this is superior nuchal line, then the lateral part of highest nuchal line gives origin to occipital part of occipitofrontal muscle while the medial portion gives attachment to epicranial aponeurosis. If superior nuchal line is considered then in its lateral part upper region gives insertion to sternocleidomastoid muscle while the lower lateral part gives insertion to splenius capitis medial one gives origin to trapezius so this is norma occipitalis hit the like button share and subscribe our channel to get the latest updates and notifications